Candy. Candy is a phenomenal gear up educator um, in Cold Spring Oakhurst ISD, also in Texas, um, and uh, and has had the opportunity to see Madeline with her students over the summer, a little bit during the school year as well. Candy, you have to share that story about the 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 um, science fair student that you told me about recently because that one blew my mind. I love that. But Candy, tell us all about you and some of the things that you have had an, an opportunity to do with Madler. Well, I am um, just down the road from Robbie. I actually live in Lufkin where Robbie works, but um, Cold Spring is about an hour and 10 minutes away. And I laugh when she said that Lufkin was small because Cold Spring Oakhurst Consolidated, they think going to Lufkin is the big city. So we, you know, we're, we're very rural out here. Anyway, um, Mad Learn has, I'm the gear up coordinator for um, Cold Spring Oakhurst, and I'm in the same grant as Robbie. Um, so I'm like Robbie, I learned about it at that conference, and we hosted a summer camp last June. Um, and most of our students, you know, parents made them come. And, but what we've seen now is the students are my recruiters because they came to that camp, none of us knew what was gonna happen. And they were just like amazed at what happened and what they did. And so they talk about it and now all the kids are wanting, you know, they're, they're getting that word out and getting other kids involved. The other thing that we've had is like teachers, you know, trying to, we wanted to use it. We bought the, we did the camp and then we bought a, a year software um, subscription, hoping to use it in the classroom. Well, I, I quickly learned, you know, oh, it's just another thing. But what has started happening is the students are teaching the teachers. And so the teachers are starting to get on board because they're seeing what the students are doing. So something that I really liked about summer camp, because with Gear Up, we want that college uh, awareness, but it's also about exploring careers. And I felt like there was more to Mad Learn than just the STEM. They got marketing, they learned about branding, they learned about different careers in that field. And then they, they're public speaking because they're presenting. And, um, and then they're, you know, they, they're picking the subject that they thought they knew everything about, but then they're doing research for their app. So they're learning even more about their subject. So these pictures here are from uh, at the top is uh, one of our students presenting at camp and then our Shark Tank event and then our group of our campers. And then the bottom pictures, um, the bottom with the two students, that one is where uh, those students did the student showcase. So it was a student showcase similar to this um, and they created their presentations and then they presented um, in, in a Zoom call like this um, to other educators. And that was, um, that was amazing opportunity for them. And that's why I love this company because again, it is more than just STEM. They're, they're just continuing to grow and learn in those things. So the other picture at the bottom is um, an hour of code event that one of our, our GT teacher held at the school district. And we brought in the students that were in the Mad Learn camp. They came back to the hour of code and they presented at that event, that family event, and then they spread out around the room to help other students develop apps. Um, so again, it helps them with their leadership skills as well as just learning the STEM and learning about, um, you know, more on their subjects that they're doing. Um, we had uh, one of our campers went to uh, C camp after the mobile app camp and they had to do a presentation there and she did her presentation in an app. She created an app. Um, she's actually the one that uh, did the Mackie app that's here on the screen. Um, that's all about macaroni and cheese. So um, love that app. Okay, I am yes. a mac and, <laughs> I'm a mac and cheese aficionado. Um, and to have an app that is entirely dedicated to mac and cheese is like she she spoke to my soul. <laughs> she um, she did really good, and she's really um, this was um, a very shy student. Um, 
And she has just, over the year, I mean, her mother has just talked about how much she has blossomed and it's been through MadLearn. I mean, she um, she did the student showcase and she used the app at, at C Camp and she's just blossomed into this, I, I don't know. I mean, she's like telling everybody about it and teaching everybody. Um, we also use, we have uh, once a month, we partner with our local library and Gear Up goes in and we present something to the parents while the librarian uh, does an activity with the students. So we offer kind of babysitting for while we're having an event. And we, the first time we did it, we had the campers come and do Mad Learn with students teaching them the on the platform. And now that's all they're doing. They keep asking for it. So, and it keeps growing with either students coming in and working on their apps that they've already created or they're creating new apps. So that's it's been a really good tool for us to use everywhere. And right now my Gear Up ambassadors are working on a Gear Up app that they're going to use at the board meeting um, at the end of the year, when we have our, our school board meeting, uh, they're wanting to present, you know, what Gear Up has done this past year, what we're doing. And so the ambassadors are creating an app and they're going to present that app at the school board meeting for um, that presentation. Love that. Yes. Love that. Another yes. great idea for us, right? Get your kids to showcase what they're doing at a board meeting or right. meeting or principal meeting or whatever that might be. Um, but shine that light on them. Candy, that's amazing. I love that. Thank you. Um, the other project they're working on that we are just getting started um, and I'm hoping it, it comes through is they are working on a school planner app. So our school does not allow cell phones, but they have Chromebooks and the apps work on the Chromebooks. So, and then they have their cell phone at home so they can still log in back and forth to make that work. And nobody keeps up with the paper planners. They're expensive. And so um, one of our students had started working on one for herself. And so as a project, the ambassadors have decided to take this on and they're going to try to create a school planner app. So um, that I'm really looking forward, you know, to that with them. That's awesome. Candy, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for sharing those tidbits and snor stories with us. Um, just so, so exciting to hear that. So